Hey, what's up y'all? Today we're gonna to be talking about topical maps and I'm gonna give a brief breakdown on what is a topical map and then I'm gonna show you how do you institute a topical map into your website. So stay around and listen to how you create a topical map. Talk to you soon. So it's 2023 and topical maps are all the rage or topical authority, which is the result of a topical map. So why is it important for your site? I believe, and this is my opinion, Google is starting to favor the topical maps more and more on subjects because it is not easy to create. It takes time. Anyone can go out, get backlinks. There's plenty of sites out there where you can establish backlinks. There's plenty of places too where you can easily optimize your content. But when it comes to creating a really data a structured set of items from the top down makes sense describes a topic talks about it thoroughly that is not easy it takes time you're gonna have to write a bunch of articles in some places maybe even 20 40 even a hundred plus articles to start ranking for that what? So I believe that's the number one reason why Google is starting to really favor the topical authority over other things is because that it is a harder feature to achieve among the search ranking features and within the other items that are important to overall SEO and getting your site to rank higher, those have become a lot more attainable as the years have gone on. And now the topical authority seems to be, and a lot of the professionals think this year, it is going to be the number one thing that is going to make sure that you rank on the top page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to help you out and show you how you can start to create your topical map so you can get to the top of Google. Let's get in. So when it comes to a topical map, here's a brief list of the things that you're going to have to think about and need to know as you create it. Number one, what is the topic that you're going to be focusing on? Now, this can be a myriad of different things. And for my example, we're going to focus on dogs. So what we're going to do is from a hierarchy standpoint, we're going to start from the very top topic, which is dogs. And then we're going to break it down into other categories that list and describe information about dogs. So that's the first part you need need to create basically a hierarchical structure, maybe I said that right, of dogs and then questions asked about those dogs or whatever your website is focused around. So for instance, I'm going to be talking about in this situation, not just dogs in general, but here's a few things. How to train, dog breeds, what is a dog, dog facts, and then we're going to break those down into other sections. So for how to train, we have best training videos, should I hire a trainer, ways to start, how does dog training help, so on and so on so forth and you're going to do that for each topic so as you go through and you create this topical map first create that structure you can use a google document or anything where you can list you know indentation wise that hierarchical structure that you have there's also tools out there that you can use to do this but what i suggest just use whatever is best for you easiest and free the second thing you need to build this on your website so you may have a shopify website you may have a wordpress website but for my example i'm going to list out more than likely the ways that you would implement this into your WordPress website. So what I first suggest is go install rank math. Once you get rank math installed, here's what we're going to do. Jump right in here and I'm going to show you how to set up the page structure so that your topical map shows right. Oh, and one second here. So rank math, that's a WordPress plugin. You can find it. I'm going to put it in the description below. Make sure you download it. All right, so as you can see here, I've created a basic topical map and I have two different main subjects, how to train dogs, what is a dog? So for how to train dogs, I have four sub subjects. Best training methods, should I hire a trainer? Ways to start, how does a dog trainer help? So on and so forth. You wanna take that main subject and break it down into some subjects that are about the main topic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump right on over into WordPress and I'm gonna show you how I set this up. All right, let's jump in here. What you can see is I made the parent page, how to train dogs, and then I made the four sub subjects of that best training methods. How does the dog training help? Should I hire a trainer and ways to start training your dog? The way you essentially make this the parent page is when you go to create the page, I'll just quickly show you it has parent. You just select that page that you want to make the parent. So what we have is we have our hierarchy set up here. And then what we want to make sure is we're going to jump into rank math here is that we have our site map set up. So as you can see under rank math in site map settings, I'm 
going to bring up the sitemap here and we're going to go into page sitemap and you can see that I have a page sitemap set up and I have it set up according to the hierarchy of how I want it to display to Google. So this is the parent page and these are all the sub pages of the parent page. So why is that important? Because as we go into the internal linking and other items, one thing Google's going to be looking for is how interconnected are these items within your topical map. Now we're going to jump over to Google and I'm going to show you what they say exactly themselves. Okay, so hopping right into Google, why do you need a sitemap, all this topical authority stuff? Well, you need a sitemap just in general so that Google can scan your site. And then beyond that, it is so important that you have within your pages, the internal linking set up so that your topical authority, Google can see how these pages are linked internally. As you can see within Google Search Central itself, it says that your site is comprehensively linked internally. This means that Google can find all the important pages on your site by following links starting from the homepage. All right, let's jump back into our WordPress site. All right, so all you need to do from here is simply launch your website or launch the pages that you've built on your website and wait for Google to collect that data. Now, if you don't want to wait, Rank Math Pro has an instant index feature which will send your pages via API to the Google bot and your pages will be looked at instantly. Perfection. I do highly suggest using Rank Math Pro if you use WordPress. And if you're using another platform, I hope that these notes and this guidance will help you to understand number one, why topical authority is an important, and number two, how to create a topical map. And then number three, what Google says about creating that topical map and how you can do it yourself. So thank you for watching my video and I hope this helps you to rank higher on Google. Have a good day. Hold up, I totally forgot. I have a video on Jasper and Surfer SEO that will totally help you to write content for your topical map. Click it here. Thanks.